is Shelley Tomich. I'm going to show you how to insert an audio file into your PowerPoint and make it play across all of your slides. I've already got my PowerPoint with all of my notes ready to go with the song Fireflies by Owl City. So the first thing I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to hit insert, audio, audio from file. Then I'm going to navigate to where I've stored my audio files and I'm going to find the particular song I'm interested in. In this case it's Fireflies. I'm going to select it, I'm going to click insert, and a little speaker icon will appear on my slide. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller and position it down low so it's not blocking any of my notes. The next thing you will do is look up top and you'll see that audio tools has appeared when you click on the speaker. If I click off of the speaker, those audio tools disappear. To get them to appear again, just click the speaker icon. I'm going to click playback, start, play across slides. Now in this case, I also have some other animations that I need to make sure my audio is timed appropriately with. So I'm going to go up and click the Animations tab, Animation Pane, and that's going to show all the animations I have. The other animations you see here are highlighting the notes in various colors. It says N and Q because I'm using a special font that when I press N, it's going to show me eighth notes and Q for quarter notes. I want my audio to start as the very first thing. So I'm just going to drag it all the way up top. And now it is the first thing that will start. I'm also going to adjust um, to make it start on click instead of starting after previous or with previous. There's really nothing previously going on. But it's easier if I can start it when I'm ready to just by clicking as you would click to go to the next slide. So I'm going to click start on click. And now I'm ready to actually time my animation. By timing the animations, this allows me to pre-record when the slide will transition to either the next animation or the next slide. This way I can demonstrate to students what they're supposed to be doing while the presentation runs by itself in the background. So I'm going to go up to the top to where it says slideshow, then I'm going to click rehearse timings and this is going to put me into presentation mode and it's going to run the show as if it was actually running it to students. All you have to do is click at the appropriate time. Let me show you how to do it. So click rehearse timings. And remember I told the animation um, audio sound to play on click. So I'm going to go ahead and click and it's going to start up the slideshow with the animation. Every time I click it's going to highlight the next row in red to where the students are supposed to be performing. And to just give the timing a little better accuracy, I actually click on the and of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. You get the idea. When you're done, you just press escape. And of course you would want to finish the whole slideshow. You do have to actually do it for the entire song. It does take some time. It's going to give you a little window that says the total time for the slideshow was whatever it was. Do you want to keep the new slide timings to use when you view the slideshow? Yes. And now when you actually play the slideshow, it's going to show you um, exactly what you've already recorded without you having to press anything. Let me show you a little bit of it. I'm going to click from the beginning and it's going to run itself. you get the idea and then it could go all the way to the end. This allows you to demonstrate to students whatever they need to be working on without having to worry about clicking at the right time for the slideshow. If you have any questions feel free to contact me. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I look forward to seeing some of the presentations you create for your students. Thank you so much.